So to learn how to play fast using a backward extension, it's good to practice with tunnels. So I'm talking about a tunnel from fourth finger in first position to an extended finger, first finger on the next higher string. So that would be C and E flat. Okay. That's what it's like. To make that tunnel comfortable, the elbow has to be more forward than say you were just playing C and E natural. Okay, and the thumb is got to be almost, my thumb is usually up between second and third finger at the back of the neck. So practicing the B flat major scale by incorporating these tunnels is what will allow you to play you know, with, with the bow. So you have to go really fast. Okay. Um, that feels nice and balanced and I'm not sliding my thumb back to, to go to half position for E flat as if I were playing slowly. Okay, you couldn't play fast like that. It would be way too much movement. So, practice like this. E flat, C. Pluck open T while holding these, just touching these fingers lightly. Don't press them or anything hard. To the G string and then keep them there even as you pluck E flat and notice my elbows forward and then let E flat keep touching there until you find F then you can let it come up or relax it G A and now we have the same exact tunnel we just had a string below and then keep that tunnel for B flat okay coming down E flat, you can you can actually release those and see if you can just play the B flat like that. So you're still elbow, elbow forward, side of the tip of the thumb is leaning into the string. But these fingers, uh, when they come down, uh, you'll have a tunnel again if you want. Well, forget the tunnel because we don't need B flat anymore. And then F. Now going from F to E flat, make sure you have a whole step with the elbow a little forward. Okay, so here's the whole thing. Okay, I kind of cheated again on the top tunnel, but Basically, that's the minimal amount of movement and balance you need.